the emergence of megacity. A megacity is basically a city with 10 million people or more. Quick recap, urbanisation key term, which is the proportion of the world's population that lives in cities, whereas urban growth is the increase in area covered by cities closely linked to urban sprawl. If we look at this graph, this line graph, it shows the percentage of people who currently live in urban areas. HICs already have the majority of people living in urban areas, whereas NEEs and LICs are growing rapidly. If we look at this colour-coded map, we can see that in 2014, there is a wide spread of megacities around the world, whereas the additional megacities expected by 2030 are going to mostly be found in LICs and NEs in the developing world as people move to the cities for better standard of living and better quality of life. The biggest megacity in the world then is Tokyo, Yokohama, located in Japan, and the city we've learned a lot about uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil is actually the 11th biggest city on the planet. So why are megacities growing? Naturally increases one reason and this is when the birth rate is higher than the death rate. Urban areas tend to have a younger youthful population and these are more likely to have children meaning the birth rate grows up. Also elderly people make up a smaller part of the population and this means the death rate will generally go down. Another factor that increases the growth of megacities is rural to urban migration. People are pushed away from rural areas because of low paid hard work in the primary agricultural sector. Also, climate change is meaning that it's getting, more, it's getting harder and harder to actually produce uh, crops to a good quality. And subsistence farmers means that people only make enough money to feed the families and not actually sell any for profit. Services in rural areas are poor, education standards are low, and you have very little access to quality health care. Another issue is transport infrastructure. We can see this road makes travel difficult. Whereas poor factors in cities, generally people who move to cities are economic migrants. They're looking for better jobs in the secondary and tertiary sector which pay more money and this will increase their standard of living. Also, because of people moving from different places, there's cultural diversity that people can experience in cities. Transport infrastructure has been invested in more heavily, so it's easier to get around. Education, both secondary and higher education, is more widely available. And also, you have recreational opportunities uh, and there's lots more leisure facilities. Finally, healthcare is better in cities, again, attracting people there increasing the growth of megacities.